This guitar, of course, was a, was a little bonus thing. I've had it ever since the very early days. We had, um, had a friend of ours who later became our tour manager. I only had one guitar, because as I told you in the, 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 the interview, I'd lost, one of them was stolen and I used that money to, so I only had one guitar left. It was like a little one pickup thing. And I had to use that for the first year. And then his friend of ours, who we got to know, he had this, he didn't play guitar, but he had this guitar. And when anybody used to pop around his house or anything, he'd say to him, if you want to sand off the guitar, you can do. So over the years, or over six months or something, people who had been around there actually got all the paint off this. And he lent seed oil it. And, I, and he gave it to, well, he lent it to me first for two years, because I couldn't pay him, obviously. But eventually I did pay him. I didn't rip him off, you know. But isn't a nice bit of history with this? Yeah. And it, it was stolen. I had it stolen in 93 out of my place in Twickenham. And uh, the local papers did a big spread, and the um, the police put it out on the radio. You know, they and uh, the guitar I got the guitar back about five days later. I got these frantic phone calls from the thieves. You know, saying, so, uh, "You can have your fucking guitar back." You know, it's too fucking hot for us. We're going to throw it in the river. You know, so I said, "Well, bring it around. I'll give you hundred quid." You know, so they sent some bird round with it. You know. So okay, the hammer. That was. This is in E, another of our favourite keys. Is...
pretty tight since we haven't played it with each other for 20 years. <laughs> <laughs>